tip number 90. Crystals can be placed also on the opposite side of PCB. Just keep the tracks short. I created this tip because when I was starting with hardware design, I was not sure if I can do this. If I can have a chip placed on the top layer, and if I can have crystal which is connected to this chip, if I could place this crystal on the bottom layer of the PCB. You know, I read all these uh, documents on the internet about how the crystal connection and crystal placement, how it is important. So when I was doing a layout, I always try to place the crystals on the same side where the main chip was located. So if I had processor, I always on the top. If I had the processor on the top, I always try to place the crystal on the top, very close to the processor. But, uh, you know, there were situations when there just was not space around the processor. And I had to place the crystal on the bottom of the PCB. I'm going to show you an example. This is a very small PCB. And if I zoom in, this is processor here. And here you can see crystal. This one is placed on the same side of the PCB where the processor is placed. So the crystal is on the top, processor is on the top. But have a look. This is a different crystal. This is the RTC crystal. And you can see it's placed on the bottom. No problems. Same uh, up here. This is Ethernet Phi chip. And uh, the crystal is placed on the bottom. Just be very careful, okay? Keep the connections short, place the crystal close to the pins where it is connected. But you can place it on the bottom of the PCB. I've done it many times, always worked, no problems. Tip number 90, crystals can be placed also on the opposite side of PCB. Just keep the tracks short. Why? Sometimes you may be very limited in space and it can be the only way to place the crystal. Test it on many boards. It works. 